Welcome to my rum balls video. <laughs> We're gonna make rum balls today. I was trying to do a whole aesthetic recipe video, but what's aesthetic about a rum ball? What's, what's aesthetic about a rum ball? So I figure that we can just chill and chat and make some rum balls. Let's do this. All right, so I need vanilla crackers, some nuts, rum, and I also have some bourbon that's going in this too. Let's light a candle. Beautiful. My cat has been talking to me all morning. Here's the recipe that I have, and I will link it below. I like this recipe because it's no bake and freezable. <laughs> I like baking stuff, but I just figured it'd be fast and you can make it a long, a long time in advance. So first I need to pulverize some vanilla wafers and some nuts. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the vanilla wafers in a Ziploc bag and then whack it a whole bunch of times with a dough roller. I'm gonna do the same thing with all these nuts. <laughs> Oh, all of these nuts, all of these nuts are going in to this recipe. Oh my gosh, these nuts smell so good. My favorite nut is a hazelnut though, and a Brazil nut and a pecan. How many of y'all had a nut bowl growing up? My mother, around Christmas time, she would always buy those like assorted nuts in the shell, and I loved eating those growing up. I would just sit there, like we would be watching a Christmas movie, because it was always around the holidays, and you know, just like cracking some nuts and snacking on some nuts. And it was so good, I ordered two pounds of those little nut assortments on Amazon, because my mom, my dear mother, she was nice enough to give me the nut bowl of my childhood, <laughs> because I think I was the only one that really ate that many nuts from the nut bowl. So I'll insert a picture right here. <laughs> All right, let's see if this is gonna work. It's not really working that well. Put some elbow grease in it, like my mama always says. Okay, here's what I'm doing. So that was too many nuts in that bag. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I have to stir the nuts into the wafers anyway. So I'm just gonna like do a little bit of nuts at a time in the bag and just, I'm just gonna place them in here. And the rest of the nuts are in this like little, little bowl right here. So, doesn't that look so good? Oh my God. <sighs> I could just eat all of those right now. <laughs> and I'll be back with the final batch. baby kitty cat has been talking to me all morning. She's got so much to say. I'm gonna use this cute little one for the video. Yeah, this smells so good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stir this. A whole half of a cup of honey. Honey is so expensive. Um, I don't know, I don't really want to put it into a different container to measure it first because honey is just like hard to get out of containers. So I am going to use my little eyeballs and I'm gonna eyeball it. Oh, speaking of eyeballs. Okay, so um, yeah, I was, I was almost not going to film this today, but okay, my eyeliner came out so good. <laughs> like, 
the cat eye is sharp enough, y'all. The cat eye is sharp enough. <laughs> if you know, you know, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go, let's add this honey. it's still all right that's probably <laughs> how the balls like stick together okay honey is the glue of the ball <laughs> stir this some more we're coming to an end with the stirring process so let's get going on the next thing all i have to do is shape them into balls and then roll them in sugar Honestly, this whole clip was me wanting to show off this really cute little sugar ball <laughs> that my boyfriend picked up on the side of the road. No, I'm just kidding. He picked this up from a Facebook Marketplace seller for my last birthday and along with a little pitcher and three little cups that match. My spoon from World Market. Let's get back to the balls. <laughs> Rachel things. Some of these are gonna be kind of more on the lumpy ball side. So we're done with a bunch of these balls. Um, I still have a few more to roll out, but y'all get the point. You roll them up, you stick them on a plate, and then you can either serve them as is, or it says to put them in the refrigerator in an airtight container for up to a month. You can freeze them in an airtight container up to three months too. So if you wanna make them like a super early or just have rum balls on hand at any time, at any given moment's notice, then <laughs> go ahead and make these, freeze them up to three months or in the refrigerator up to a month. And then you can have them ready to go for any kind of holiday party or party or whatever that you wanna go to. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, let me know if you make these rum balls. Let me know if you like them or not. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos like this. Bye.